So now we want to take a close look at the sine rule. And the sine rule is a formula that relates the size of a triangle to the sines of its angles. The rule is applicable to all types of triangles and this is what gives the sine rule a distinct advantage over Pythagoras theorem and the trig ratios because the trig ratios and Pythagoras theorem are only applicable to right angled triangles. The sine rule and later on we'll look at the cosine rule, these two rules are applicable to all types of triangles, whether it's right angled or not. Good. And there's a rule in a nutshell. Let's look closely at what this rule is saying in terms of the principle. So it's saying that if you should choose any angle, here's a triangle ABC. Let's look at the labeling of the triangle first and foremost, all right? Here we have a triangle, it's an ABC triangle. So the angle is labeled, or the vertex is labeled capital A. And the opposite side is labeled common A. Likewise, here, the vertex, or the angle B, is labeled in capital letters. The opposite side is labeled in common B. And likewise, the angle here C, or the vertex C, in capital, capital letter, and the opposite, the side opposite to this angle here is labeled with a common letter and that's the case for all all three vertices now let's look at what the rule is saying in principle so let's so the rule is saying if you take any side take any angle take any angle in the triangle let's say this angle here angle a the sine of this angle over its opposite side is equal to the sine of any other angle on the triangle over its opposite side. So the sine of A over its opposite side is equal to the sine of B over its opposite side. Likewise, it's equal to the sine of this angle over its opposite side. So it's a very, very basic formula. Let's look at it We're using different letters. Here we have another triangle. Pretend these lines are straight. PQR. Because sometimes people get caught up in the letters and can only and only can relate the rule, the sine rule to A, B, and C. Let's use different letters. Now if I label this angle P, capital P, I label the opposite side to it common P. Alright? If I label this angle Capital Q, I label the side opposite opposite to the angle common Q. And if I label this angle capital R, then the side opposite to, to, to this angle will be labeled common R. So the angles or the vertices are in capital letters, while the sides are labeled in common letters. Now, what the sine rule says. If you should take any angle, choose any angle on this triangle. This, well, there are three angles. You can choose any one of three. You choose one. Which one are you choosing? Okay, I'm reading your mind. You're choosing Q. If you should choose angle Q, the sine of that angle over the side opposite to the angle, which is common Q, is equal to the sine of any other angle whether you want to use p or you want to use r that is totally up to you let me use r sine the angle which is r over the side opposite to the angle which is we label it common r or you could label it r p q same as the common r there right and that is also equal to the sine of the third angle. What's the third angle? P over the side which is opposite to angle P. And this side is what? We label it common P or QR if you want to call it QR. And that's what the sine rule says. Very, very basic rule. 
Now in the next video, we want to look at some questions, solve some problems involving this rule.